What to do, YouTube? Man, it's late, I'll tell you. I actually sat through the whole NFL draft. If you didn't join the Not For Debate podcast draft party, uh, you can go back and rewatch that. Um, but the Miami Dolphins, the six overall pick. <laughs> you know, I was, to be honest with you, I was not expecting Kyle Pitts to go to the Atlanta Falcons. I felt like they had a lot of glaring needs. And I felt like the Dolphins were going to end up going to go grab him at the number six pick. Now, Penae Sewell also was another pick. I was expecting the Cincinnati Bengals to end up making the pick before us at number five. They didn't end up going that route. They ended up going Jamar Chase. So I ended up being completely wrong 100. But at the sixth pick, the Miami Dolphins ended up selecting Jalen Waddle. Now, there's a lot of Miami Dolphins fans upset about the fact that we ended up selecting Jalen Waddle. Uh, considering the at the sixth overall pick, we could have got got him a little bit, could have traded first, well, could have stayed at twelve and probably possibly could have got him. You never know. Me personally, I've st- stated multiple times over the last two weeks that me personally, I felt like Jalen Jalen Waddle was the best receiver in his draft um, over Devontae Smith, and that's just fact. You can't teach speed. You just the separation that Jalen Waddle has as on impact on a game, like you can. As a kick returner, as a slot receiver, you can even line him on one of the outside. What you guys have asked for, for the Dolphins to take the top off of the defense. Now, personally, I was expecting the Dolphins to trade back after Pitts came off the board. And then I was kind of iffy about Panay Suwell as far as going to the Dolphins. If I would have known that, the Dolphins would have most definitely wouldn't have ended up signing DJ Fluke because you got to think about it. The Dolphins... They were in a situation at number six where if they ended up missing out on if they ended up missing out on Panay Suwell, they have Rashawn Slater sitting right there. So they had multiple choices at the offensive lineman position. So it was almost impossible for me to see the Dolphins end up drafting an offensive offensive tackle at number six. So it had to have been a skill a skill player or the Dolphins were trading out of that pick again, if that's what the, that what the case was. But thinking about it. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm so. I, I like the Jalen Waddle pick. If if we're just going based off of pure talent, um, what I wanted the Dolphins to trade back further to get a defensive player, maybe. But just just looking at the Miami Dolphins as far as weapons are, are concerned now, hey, at the end of the day, there's no excuses this year for Tua. A lot of y'all are like, I'm a Tua hater. No, I draw a line straight down the middle. Everybody is equal. I don't care about the injury because there's multiple players in this league that play through injuries, and y'all want to give this guy an excuse. That's not happening. So now you have Jalen Waddle, you have Will Fuller. Me personally, I feel like one of these receiver. This is going to be a receiver that's going to be an odd man out between Devontae Parker and Preston Williams. It's a possibility Albert Wilson may be out, but between the two, Devontae Parker and Preston Williams, I feel like it's going to be an odd man out, and we're gonna see with that. Now, at the 18th pick, the Dolphins ended up drafting J. Um, excuse me, J- Jalen Phillips. My goodness, Jalen Phillips. I'm sorry, it's late. Um, Jalen Phillips out of Miami. Now, Jalen Phillips was one of my favorite edge rushers coming out because, as far as being a mix between a, a run defender and an edge edge setter, as an edge rusher. And also with the combination of being a, a fairly decent pass rusher, Jalen Phillips was probably in my top two. I like Jason OA too, but Jalen Phillips was up there. Now, the only concern is the fact that the concussions is a big, huge issue. At number 18, I feel like we could have traded back a little bit further. Understandably, it's a possibility he's what, the second or maybe the third best edge rusher in this draft. So... You got you to take the good with the bad. High upside, but the concussions is just a big, huge issue. Like, it just takes me back to just thinking about the the, the Luke Keekly the Luke Keekley days. His career was, was shortened due to concussions. And concussions is something that you don't definitely don't want to mess around with, uh, especially when it comes down to football with the CTE and everything, the seriousness that it has gotten over the years. But if we're just looking at his perf- a perfect scheme fit, I like Jalen Phillips. The Dolphins need... A, a edge rusher for sure. You look at it, Vince Beagle, Emmanuel Ogba, and we're we're, we're still we're still developing uh, Andrew Van Ginkle. 
you bring in another guy that could be that could possibly be productive for the Dolphins. I like it. I'm being completely 100 with you as far as the Miami Dolphins doing that cover zero pressure. Um, we're going to have to generate some pressure with our front four. That's something that uh, that we did not see a lot of. A lot of our pressure came off of blitzes. And I kind of want to see a little bit more of getting pressure with just our front four and us, allow us to drop more defenders in coverage. But I like the uh, Jalen Phillips pick most definitely. The Jalen Waddle pick I can live with. Um, you already know I wasn't really big on drafting a receiver at the sixth overall pick. But, hey, it is what it is. I, I can live with the pick. Hopefully tomorrow in the second round, the Dolphins are going to focus on getting a running back. The Dolphins can also focus on getting us another linebacker. So it's going to be extremely interesting tomorrow in the second round as far as the second round is concerned. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.